and you wouldn't even know it was a DIY. It looks so good. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and welcome to today's vlog. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some design ideas and IKEA hacks. So when I was in Australia earlier this year, I was inspired by the bohemian trend. So I thought I would do the same here and decorate our house with that kind of vibe. While I was online searching for furniture here in the UK, I couldn't find um, much like rattan, bohemian, um, cane furniture. And when I did, it was very limited. The styles were limited, the colors, the sizing, everything like that was difficult to find or they didn't have it at all. And the price was super expensive. So I took into my own hands and purchased some items from Ikea and decided to do my own DIY. So I'm going to be showing you the DIY I'm doing on the Besta um, cabinets and also the Kane Rattan pendant ceiling hanging lights. So let's get to it. Preparing the rattan, I filled up a bathtub with warm water and I submerged the full roll into the water and left it there to soak for 30 minutes. And then once it was soaked, I removed it and put it on some towels just so that it would drip dry. And then I attached it to the frame of the door and I started from one side first, then the opposite side, and then the other two sides, I stapled them in with a staple gun with eight millimeter staples. And if the staples didn't go through, I lightly hammered through around just to ensure that they were in correctly. But just a tip, don't hammer too hard because there is glass. Once that was done, I attached the door. So there you have it guys, the final result of the best of cabinets with my DIY rattan doors. I'm super impressed. It's taken two days for the rattan to dry. Um, I was a bit worried at the beginning because it was a bit wonky, but uh, they dried super straight and very tight. So they look very professional and you wouldn't even know it was a DIY. It looks so good. I'll also show you on the inside. Um, it doesn't look too bad either. So other than the nails, it looks pretty good too. Uh, I will share with you some tips because I did make some mistakes. I forgot to measure the width of this against the door frame. So when I was trying to shut the doors, there would be a major gap, but I had to go back and trim all the top. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys don't make that mistake because it got really messy. And also I used a um, smaller staple. So originally I used like a large heavy duty staple, but I ended up um, using the small eight millimeter ones because of uh, the heavy duty ones wouldn't penetrate the frame. And instead the small ones penetrated, but I just had to use more of them. So hopefully that helps you there in that area. Uh, and another tip is if you want more of a, like a brighter color look like a white, uh, use the raw side of the rattan. Uh, as you can see on the inside, it's more yellowy and more shiny. So I use the raw side to give that effect. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys love the end result as much as I do. I'm gonna show you how I did the pendant lamps. So with a pendant lampshade, I had to remove the original utility ring frame that was inside because it wasn't suitable for my connection that's already hanging from the ceiling. I have an easy fix connection. Uh, so I purchased the suitable easy fix frame from a local store here. And it was only, I think 50, 95 pounds. All I did was chop off the, um, zip ties that were holding the original one on and then removed it from the lampshade and then attached the new utility ring with new ziplock ties and that was about it. So it was really easy to do, yeah, and it didn't cost too much in the end.
So this is the end result of the hanging pendant lampshade. It looks so pretty and I'm very impressed. So it just tones down the original yellow color that it was before because it was just too yellow for my liking and the whole room would be yellow, which I didn't want. Um, but that light coat of white spray paint just tones it down and gives it a more softer feel and softer look. I left the inside, the original raw cane, and uh, I think it adds a bit of more depth and more um, kind of a textured look. So yeah, super happy with that end result. So there you have it guys. I hope you guys found my video useful. And um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll try to leave all the information for where to get the rad tan and sizing of the staples and also the paint um, in the description below. So anyway guys, until next time, bye for now.